Hello, welcome to this video about ProFace's Blue software related to indexing arrays when connecting to a Rockwell Micro 800 series PLC using connected components workbench software. Okay, quick agenda. Uh, we will look at the connected components workbench uh, environment and basically what I created just has a, has a test case to, to illustrate this function um, will and then we'll basically show how we uh, do it in the blue development how it looks in the blue and development environment and then how we have uh, how we access arrays with indexes okay so the first thing we'll do is uh, okay, live demo first so the first thing we'll do is let me bring into view the Connected Components Workbench software. And you see what I've done? First thing that I've done is I've created, this is what we're using as a test. I've created this uh, structure in Connected Components Workbench called oven. And then you can see within this oven structure, I've got a couple bulls. I've got a target temperature, an actual temperature. I've got a name, et cetera. So I've got a, that, that's my data structure. And what I've done in the arrays, is I've created an array of these. I've created seven, you know, seven dimensions, zeros through six. So then you look at then you look in the global variable list. Okay, and you can see here's my ovens array. It's of the data type ovens. Here's the seven positions, and then you can expand it here, and there's the nested um, structure. Okay. So basically, what we did there is like we've done in previous videos. We've I'm going to save this. I'm going to build it. Again, if you if you watch my other video, I'm not a Rockwell expert, so not sure what I need to do or not do. Just wanted to point this out that this could be something that you'll have to deal with. And then, of course, we'll do the we'll export the variables, etc. Right. And then we will import those into Blue. For this video, I won't go into that. You can reference the, the previous video. I'll put some links in the description. Okay. So that's really all I wanted to show you in um, in the Connected Components Workbench software. So let's now let's bring Blue into view. Okay. And you can see a very similar thing after I have done the symbol import. And remember, that's I'll just to kind of walk through that. When you in the Project Explorer, it's to uh, click on symbol link. Right now I have a symbol link in here, um, so it won't let me update it. In future versions, you will be able to update it. But in the version I'm using, this is 3.4.1. Uh, there is no update. You have to basically delete and re-import. But it's basically to go here to the symbol link area and do that procedure. Okay. But you'll see, just to kind of go through it, after I've done the symbol link, here's my oven structure, just like I had it in the Connected Components Workbench. Here's the ovens array here, seven positions. And then when I go to the all variables, then you can see here's my ovens array, start, stop, target temperature, etc. Okay. So if we look at the screen that I've designed now. Okay. What I've done, okay, what I have done is if you look at these individual numeric displays, what you'll notice is, is that these seven numerics are all tied to the um, ovens array um, actual temperature value. So this is for array position zero, this is for array position one, position two, position five, and so on, position six. Okay, so those are the six, seven discrete values, one, you know, the, the, the different index positions. This will be my index right here. And you can see this is just an integer. And this can actually be, this can come from the controller or this can be uh, an internal variable depending. Okay. So then what our indexed object looks like then is like this. So what you'll see is you'll have the the, uh, the AB micro 820, which is the name of the controller, dot ovens array, which is that oven, that's that 
array of ovens. Again, and then inside the bracket, we want the index. So we need the AB micro 20 because this index is still part of that group. Dot index dot value. Okay. And when you replace that, and when you square bracket that, then that will, um, this index value will populate this. So this, this value will be populated based on this index, index value, which would point to the appropriate uh, oven temperature. So let's look at how you actually enter that. Uh, in the editor. Right now, it's not as smooth of a process as we might like. Um, you have to kind of do it in a manual process. So what we got to do is, so for, so for example, what we would do is we would browse to the variable. Like this, just any array position, really. And then in here, is where we would have to put in our manually, we have to manually type in our AB underscore micro 820 dot in dex dot oops dot and then it will auto populate and then we can okay. Then we have to, uh, oh, I must have gotten rid of the, and then here, let me fill in the, yeah, here we go. Actual dot, actual temp dot value. So you can see there is some um, autofill available. Okay. And then you can see, so that took it. It's happy. It's not red. Okay. So what does this look in the, like, what, so what does this end up looking like in the runtime? We'll just go ahead and run it. Everything should be ready to go. Okay, so let me bring the runtime into view here. You can see, so right now my object index is zero, so I'm basically pointing to this oven uh, oven one, which is array position zero, I'm, I'm using human terms for the oven, so oven one through oven seven, but the array index positions are obviously offset because in computer, so we start with zero. So then I'll just, I'll, how about I'll go in here and I'll manually put in some temperatures for now. Let's see there, we're cooking something here. We'll do some, I don't know, cookies. Here's some barbecue. Okay, so then what happens then, of course, is when we change our index between, so if I go to index one, there's our 400. Obviously, I go to index five, for example, I have my 170. And just to prove that they all work, we'll walk them through. There's 350, 225, 450, and so on. Need to change the value. Okay, 425. Okay, send it back to zero because we can watch something move. Okay, so that's just bait. That's in a nutshell. This is, um, like I said, refer to the previous video for all the connection uh, information, how to make the connection, etc. Um, very interesting function. Hopefully, we will at some point we'll be able to browse uh, into the into the uh, index, you know, into the array position, so we won't have to manually enter it. Uh, but for now. Um, Nice functionality. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you.